One of my top tips when fishing bloodworm and joker is to find the correct depth that the fish are feeding at. Today, for example, if I fish dead depth uh, with my float on my mark or just over depth, it takes me ages and ages to get a bite. So the fish are telling me that they are clearly off bottom. A lot of fish today have been sort of four to, four to seven inch off the bottom. Um, for whatever reason, they just seem to be sat at that depth. And it's just important to always move your float up and down and try and find the best depth um, to catch the most amount of fish out of your peg. Top bait tip um, is to keep your bloodworm and your joker in water. When you're fishing it, it's already in the water, so it makes sense to do the same thing on the bank. It's easier to select a bait, especially if it's in a white tub, you know, uh, you can use an ice cream tub or whatever, as long as it's a contrast to the bait you're using, like red against white, very easy to see, very easy to pick out a nice little bait there. And it's exactly the same with the joker. Okay, so another good tip is when you're catching a, and when, when it looks like a big weight of fish is on the cards, um, sometimes if you break down a section earlier, so that, you know, you've got more pole out, but ultimately you can swing the fish to hand. Um, it's a lot faster than netting, and if you can get away with doing it, especially in a match situation, you're going to be faster than them around you. It's a very good way to build a weight quickly, as opposed to netting everything. If the day's difficult and you're not getting many bites, then netting fish obviously is key. But if you're in a match winning situation or you're looking like you're going to frame, then just trying to be a bit quicker, even standing up and, you know, you know it, looks, it looks a bit daft sometimes, but ultimately you're a lot, lot faster. Yeah. Brilliant tip when using Blood Women Joker is vary baits. So by that, I mean, don't just put single on. Try two, three, or even sometimes five or six blood worm. Um, can pick the bigger fish out in your peg. I've, I've caught quite a lot today on three blood worms. And just by, you just have to nick them all through the head, like so, and they'll sit nicely on the hook. Obviously I'd use a bigger hook if I was using more than say, say three, that's just a, a 22 that is. Um, but obviously the bigger the bait, the bigger the hook you need to go to. And exactly the same principle applies for joker. Um, you know, multiple joker can bring your fish when you don't think there's any in your peg. And they're a little bit diff more difficult to hook, but if you just take your time, try not to burst them, and just nick them on like that, three joker catches some really, really big wary fish, especially like towards the end of the session when you know, they've, uh, they've had a bit of a hammering and they're getting more difficult. So my final tip when using Bloodworm and Joker, if you're on a particularly difficult canal or if the day's really hard, if it's cold, um, not getting many bites, a good little thing to do is take a couple of your Bloodworm, like that, probably, you know, only 10 at a time, put them in your pot, like that, ship out and drip them in over the top of your line. What this does is because your bait's in the water, it will kick and flick and it will actually get the few fish that might be there, it might get one just to have a go or two, and you're actually gonna create that tiny little bit of competition which might get you another bite or another two bites. Very, very good when, it, when the going's tough. And it's warming loads of money that has doing that. Um, you can do the same thing with Joker as well, exactly the same. Just a little, little tiny bit going in. You know, it can just bring your peg to life sometimes.